Good evening, everybody. Rubik's Master here <clears throat> with some more War Commander. Pardon me. So today, we're going to be focusing primarily on base defense. Exit, please. And there it went again. All right. So after, since my last video... I've upgraded my two turrets, machine gun turrets, to level two, and I unlocked mortar turrets, howitzers, whatever, they're mortars, and equipped it. Cool thing about resource management in this game, well, let's just go to it, Ford upgrade. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, okay, so we'll show here. The cost to equip a turret... Oh, wait, sorry. The only cost there is to getting a turret is the cost to unlock it. So, to unlock this turret, I think it was like 6,000. But once you unlock it, you can equip it for no charge. So, if something happens and you realize you need a rapid base defense re layout, revamp instead of spending a lot of resources and waiting a long time for your, <clears throat> excuse me, I do apologize. Instead of spending a lot of resources and spending a lot of time waiting for your defenses to get back up, you just click a couple buttons, click equip, and bam, it's done. Um, so, back to defenses. If you remember, in one of my <clears throat> other videos, I mentioned the exclusion area, I guess, for a mortar. A howitzer. I'm just going to get in the habit of calling them what they are. A howitzer. I mentioned it being very large, and it is. My I haven't tried it with infantry. My rhino is fast enough. I can pilot it into a mortar tower if it's not defended by machine gun turrets, dodging dodging the rounds as I go, and the maximum range for my Rhino tank is inside the exclusion area, the can't hit area of this howitzer. So, now that I have a little bit of diversity in turrets and whatnot, I am going to come up, I say come up with, through attacking other bases, I've seen this, and I'm going to add my own twist on it and show very spe specific things on how to design it to protect it the best you can, the meager defenses you have at this point. So we're going to use this rock formation as a central point. Let's move all the buildings out of the way momentarily. That should be enough. So we are going to... How much space do you take up? Too much. Okay, so we're going to move this guy. <sighs> Wish the screen would move more ably. Okay, so we're going to move that guy there. Going to move. Okay, so let's see what the ranges are on these guys. Beautiful. Move this guy over here. Move you further up. What happens if I turn you? I'm not going to be able to put you where I need to. Hmm. 
Hmm. Still works. And that works. Okay, so basically what we've done here is we've taken this guy to where he can damage units in a certain radius. We're using that as our central point right now because we can't really focus on defending anything. We can only focus on defending what we can. One turret by itself or even three machine gun turrets grouped together in a tight wad in the middle of the base is not going to be able to defend anything, really. So we've taken these guys, protected them with barriers as best we can. We're going to put landmines and whatnot in this area around these guys, and then we're going to focus on trying to funnel everything in around the corners. They're going to, people are going to be able to destroy resources in this base, but hopefully they will not be able to get 100% destruction. That's the goal. So, first things first, command center. I didn't, I didn't finish the full explanation. So, this guy, can. it's obvious where he can attack those things. For any unit to be able to attack any of these machine gun turrets, they are going to have to be within range of the of the howitzer. And that's basically it. Like, it's as easy as that. Um, the other thing, the other little thing we did was by, ha by funneling them in from this direction, we are optimizing the amount of time that the enemy is exposed to our fire. Uh... Okay, uh, little things to keep in mind. Don't be afraid to spread these guys out a little bit because it creates even more of a bubble of damage. You know what? I'm going to coin that. Bubble of damage. Bubble of damage being how much, how much damage is overlapping between two towers. So all these circles, where all these circles intersect, those are their bubbles. The bubbles meet, more damage happens. So you want to place these machine gun towards out far enough to where they can protect as much as they can, but you don't want to place them out too far. Otherwise, an enemy would be able to attack the machine gun turret without being able to be targeted by the howitzer. So, okay. Let's get the important stuff in close. Get you there. Uh, where's my other storages? There's an oil storage. Get you in. Oh, there we go. There's that guy. Oh, can't really do anything. Take this guy up there. Put him in there. In there. Hmm. So we're going to take this guy. Put him there. Where's my other one? Okay, now how is that? Stacking up decently. Okay, we're just putting in these minefields as more deterrents. So they're either going to have to funnel in. That's kind of a weak area right there, though. Hmm. How much does it overlap? Not much. As I said, weak area. So we are going to alter our bubble of damage. Put that guy there. Move this guy there. Okay. Move these guys in closer. Uh, 
I know I'm not using all my space optimally. I'm not too worried about that yet. It is what it is. All right, and there we have it, a new base layout that hopefully will optimize our ability to not be 100% destroyed in an attack. All right, so the next easiest step, the only thing I really, mm, wow, I made an error. How big are you? How big are you? Let's see if you'll swap. You will not. But you need to be in here. Son of a gun. <laughs> my miscalculation was forgetting that this power plant is actually part of my defenses. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Come on. So the idea behind the power plant is it powers your transformers, which upgrade your defenses. Destroy the power plant, transformers go down, no fun. So we actually have to factor in protecting our power plant as part of our defense. And in doing that, we kind of put some storage on the outside, not to worry about that. I don't keep much storage in there anyway. Um, how much does it cost to upgrade you? 12,000. Not a lot. We'll try and get that really quickly. Because I may... Part of the reason I left open area back here is so I can hopefully fit a transformer in there. Hmm. Oh, I also found out the platoons... You can upgrade platoon size by just spending steel. There's a little button that says upgrade size, and you click it, and it adds 50 size to your platoon. So my platoon now has 60 spa unused space, but I don't have resources to buy a unit. Which I will focus on right after upgrading this power plant. But we'll run a couple attacks, so hopefully I can show you how to counteract some of the... Okay, wow, he's a lot higher level than I am. Ain't touching that. Anyway, hopefully gonna show you some strategies on how to avoid mortar torts, maybe. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna select my tank. And I'm going to drop Mr. Tanky. Oh, turn AI off. I forget that. And I'm just going to no tell this guy to go here. He'll be targeted by the howitzer. Wow, did you actually hit me? Hmm. Go look at that. And now he's inside the howitzer's range. Now we'll drop this guy off and do the exact same thing. Yes, but we'll just do a beeline because he's fast enough. That's whatever. Is he outside the range? No, oh, he's inside it too. This is why I don't understand. Like, is it, looking at this, it appears my infantry does more damage than both of these guys. Okay, so now we're just going to select all. Tell him to go over here. Attack that guy. Alright, we're going to work our way over here first. I see one minefield, I see two minefields. I love the music. It's good, I mean. <laughs> really gets me into it. Oh wow, he is gonna wreck my infantry unit. Get those guys out of line with that landmine. Hmm. Oh, come on.
I love that yell. Can't believe they actually used that. Anyway, turn the AI on and I'll finish it. A little bit loud. Got people sleeping upstairs. Alright, we got 4,000 steel from this attack. That is a success. Mm -hmm. So while we're going through this little victory spiel, I'm gonna hit on something I hate. I looked up War Commander Robosol to look for little hints, tips, see what other people were doing with their videos to make sure I wasn't copying anybody, seeing if there was anything I could do that's totally different. And I couldn't even finish it because, like, all the results on the first page are people that kicks I hit up. Like, moderately successful YouTubers that kicks I hit up and basically paid or offered incentives for them to play War Commander Rogue Assault on their channel. Okay, this guy's weak, but he has 3,000 uh, steel, so we're taking it. Anyway, they, like, one dude I watched started out his video saying that Kix I had given him an iPad to give away, like, really? Come on, anyway, obviously no one paid me. I am just a legitimate fan of the game. But hey, good advertising plug by Kickside. Whatever. Alright, so this is 3,000, that'll be 7, 8,000. If I hit another one that has 4,000, I can go ahead and upgrade my power plant. Don't attack the wall, man. Come on. Too bad they don't have resource bonuses for three stars and whatnot. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, level two. Give me them double rewards. I did unlock a new vehicle. I unlocked the. I don't know what it's called. It's basically like the little technical vehicle I'm using now, except instead of a machine gun on the back, it has like a a Russian rocket pod thing. I'll show it to you all after this. It looks pretty cool. I'm probably going to switch it out. It takes up 20 more space, I think. But in low-level attacks like this where I'm not fighting infantry, and I could be facing stuff like this with high-level turret bottoms, that I'm not gonna fight. I can't take that on. <clears throat> anyway, it's gonna be a lot more useful. When I, hopefully by the time I start fighting people that have infantry guards. Where is his? Mm, I'm gonna be taking heavy losses. Anyway, ho hopefully by the time I get to fighting people that have infantry platoons guarding their base, I will have enough space in my platoon to switch back to a, a machine gun technical. Holy mackerel, that's a rail gun, isn't it? Yeah, that's a rail gun. I, know, I haven't read the description of a rail gun, but I'm assuming it does massive damage to one target, so basically a tank killer. Oh man, it's putting me again. A lot. Downside of the railgun is, though, I don't know what turret was the equivalent of it. Uh, plasma turret. The plasma turret was the equivalent in the original War Commander. Downside to that is you can just send a massive group of infantry in front of your tank, and the dude's targeting all the little infantry, and you just wreck it. It's giving me nothing.
Hey, to look like I'm looking for easy farming. Okay, so landmine there, landmine there. He's only got two torrents. That'll do. And he's got 4,000. That'll put me... That'll put me where I need... Oh, no, he had three torrents. Hmm. Silly, silly me. He has three torrents. Yeah, off. Alright, sorry my technical. We'll work our way through here. No, 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 no. Oh, you're gonna be in range of that other guy. You need to come back. Oh, this tank can fire on the move, really? Just figure that out. He's never done it before. This is going to be a close one. Okay, good, so they can all attack him without... Uh, that tank's not even gonna get in a shot. Oh, he got in a shot. Good, good. I have a chance. Maybe. Whew. That was a close one, guys. Two or three of these landmines. Excuse me. All right, there we go. I did not mean to hit next. Let's exit. Yeah. So, honestly, the vehicle selection in this game right now is really slim. I expect them to buff it and keep adding things to it like they did on the Facebook version. Um, like I think there's only like five heavy vehicles to unlock. There's a lot of light vehicles, but there also seems to be some redundancy that I don't quite get. Um... All right, so we got 12,000, so we can upgrade. Oh, we're not going to have enough resources to build a transformer. Because we can upgrade you. 100 XP. Let's build. Because it's like in the, well, how to have this conversation when I'm looking at the vehicles in a second. Oh, defenses is what I'm looking for. Cost to build 3,000. Let's go attack one more base. Uh, first, we'll look at the army, the vehicle thing I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, like, light vehicles. Let's take a look at those. Okay, the S13. Yeah, basically the same, has the same stats as, health stats and whatnot, as the PK. Oh, uh, shouldn't tap. But it has a rocket on the back, so it deals more damage per second, but it's more suited for buildings, I think. Um, so the redundancy thing, this is kind of what I'm talking about. There's lots of light vehicles, but you have the PK, which is a technical, and then you have the Humvee, 
which is basically an upgraded technical, so why would you keep using the PK once you have the Humvee unlocked? Except for that I'm sure the Humvee will take up more space and cost a lot more, meaning it'll also cost more to repair. But it's still redundancy. If you can have a Humvee instead of a technical, why have a technical? The technical is just going to get left behind, unless you get sick upgrades for it. Uh, you know, let's look at the PK and look at the upgrade real quick. Promotion gives me 10 more damage per second, which is a fair amount. I mean, that's more than a 10% damage increase on what it already does. Um, oh no, I didn't promote my rifleman. Can I? I can. Hmm. Upgrading a rifleman does not even give a 10% damage increase. However, you can fit a lot more in a platoon, so overall the damage increase is pretty great. But still not 10%. Seems you get a lot better out of promoting your... There we go. I promoted my rhino. Uh, my... Oh, I also got my equipment. I don't remember if I showed you all that which was really cheap, I was surprised. So my promotion gave it more health, and my equipment on it is giving it a, what was that? 11 damage per second bonus, which is almost 10, wait, it should be 10%. Yeah, it is 10%. All right, so let's go attack. How much do we need, 3,000? Ah, I clicked on the freaking... Still on the same alliance. Alright, let's go attack one more guy for 4,000, hopefully. And we'll build a transformer. Got new hair. Oh, it's poofing a little bit. Yeah. I had it all slipped back with gel. And then I broke the gel, and it got this nice poof slipped look. I love it. My wife hates it. Okay, we are gonna skip that guy. Level 12. I'm gonna wait to call the matchmaking system broken, because there aren't that many people playing the game. I mean, if this game had millions of downloads like Clash of Clans and still had cruddy matchmaking... I would complain. But it doesn't. Because, I mean, it, it putting me against this guy is as broken as it putting me against those other guys that I have no hope of beating. But... I didn't, you know, I didn't even look at how many resources this guy had. I just saw an easy score and went for it. Does that make me a bad person? Yes, sir. There's that scream again. <laughs> and we'll just let them do their thing right here. What is this tank doing? Look at that. Oh, they have a mortar. They have a mortar. That, that is a, a gross miscalculation. A gross miscalculation. That hurts a little bit. I was blind to not see that. Let's move my ball and see how much damage that mortar did. A lot. Shows you the importance of being smart. No, turn that AI on. Two thousand, so we just need. Wait, was that enough? Oh, that's enough. That's enough.
Okay, exit this time instead of clicking next, out of habit. Chirp, chirp. So, put build. Fences, which are already ordered. Build. How big are you? Just too big. Uh, I wish I could put that in standby while I rearranged some things. You cannot move. Oh, you son of a gun. Don't think that's going to be enough. Okay, this tour is still covered. We'll see. We shall see. Yes. Does it get all three? It only gets two of them. Speed boost plus 50%. That's actually amazing, especially for that guy. Him to be able to pump out 50% more damage. Because that's what, that's what uh, fire rate is, is damage per second. If you increase the fire rate, you increase your damage per second. So let's see what damage this guy has. Damage per second, 57, plus 11. Where does that plus 11 come from? Anyway, so if his damage per second is 57, then that 50% speed boost turns that into 780, we'll just say 80 damage per second. I'll call that pretty good. Okay, so I think we had a pretty good time here today. We did a command center level 2 base layout. We did a how to attack on bases with, with howitzers. And we showed what a power station does. So, Good job, guys. I'll be back tomorrow if I can. I will try my best to come out with a new video every single night on this subject. And unlike the people that are getting paid to do this, I am doing it out of my joy for the game. So if you want to see heartfelt, tried and true, uh, School of Hard Knocks work on this game, come see me. See y'all guys later.